For hundreds of years, modern science has endeavored to peel back the layers of ignorance, to shed light on the true nature of the universe, to replace yesterday's myth with today's proven fact. And it is to advance that cause that we must ask ourselves. <laughs> Are extraterrestrials dull? Here. It was here that I first saw the alien craft. I was struck by a blue beam of light, and I felt myself being lifted up off the ground. The next thing I knew, I was aboard the vessel. For the entire duration of my stay with the aliens, they never once turned off the TV. There was almost no conversation, and when they did talk, it was about what they were watching, usually my three sons. Being a dentistry student, I, of course, have a scientific mind. I would inquire about different things, such as uh, medical techniques, means of propulsion, uh, social organizations, but nothing. They just go, shh, Ernie's having girl trouble. It is believed that the aliens first visited the Earth at the very beginning of human history and mated with our ancient ancestors. How else can we explain How else can we explain people who say things like, I don't need to take drugs to have a good time? <laughs> How else can we explain New Age music? Could humans really have invented golf without alien intervention? <laughs> well, I was abducted during an open house in the outskirts of town. I asked aliens if they wanted to study me, or if they wanted to ask me any questions at all. So they asked me if I thought they looked good with a pipe. You see, they all smoke pipes. I thought it suited them, so I said, it suits you. They sort of smiled, turned around, and kept watching TV. We recovered this, these, near the site of an alien landing. And according to eyewitnesses, this is the outer garment of an alien's flight suit. <laughs> According to the lab, it is 50% wool, 50% alpaca. And in the opinion of the lab, it is a quality garment. Another thing is, the aliens all seem to be balding. Just think about it. A whole race of people brushing their hair forward to hide the fact that they're balding. Even the children. The aliens? Absolutely splendid people. Top drawer, 100% all over. Couldn't have enjoyed the abduction more. But why then have these reluctant astronauts come to this planet? What is their mission? What do they hope to gain? I believe the aliens are here to collect decorative spoons. My own store has been visited three times by three separate groups of aliens. And each time, although they initially expressed a lot of interest in the beer mug shaped like a tent, their only purchase was the Stephenville commemorative spoon. In fact, the last group complained quite tellingly, I think. They said, why don't you have a spoon that just says Earth? It would save time. Such gift shop visitations now number in the thousands. Who knows? Perhaps one day when the last spoon has been collected, the aliens will leave this planet as mysteriously and uninterestingly as they came. But until that time, I know... But until that time, I shall continue to look to the night sky until I become drowsy and fall asleep.